It's July the 26th, 2015. I'm Dana Dernford, also known as the Nuclear Proctologist. Dot org and you can find these videos and Fukushima presentations at beautiful girl boy Dana on YouTube. <coughs> I try to take a couple of days off and if I never got to your emails it's July the 26th two if I never got to your emails or your phone I'm sorry there's nothing I can do about it. I gotta come to a stop at some point in my life. A day and a half Got a lot of work done on the boat, got all the prep work done that I needed to do, and so that's no longer a worry. We got an interesting, I think we got probably a really interesting night tonight. We got, uh, just a quick reminder, hell on earth, I know a lot of people about the daisies uh, mutated in Fukushima, and I decided I was going to do a video on it, and... I just want to remind anybody that's not familiar that Chernobyl, look at your third sentence, for the next 10 days spewed equivalent 400 Hiroshima bombs. And so Chernobyl was one third the size of any of the reactors at Fukushima. This is unit one. Uh, Cher this is three times the size of Chernobyl. This was a 100% meltdown, a uh, melt through and a melt out. Chernobyl was a 30% meltdown, and Chernobyl. Uh, stopped after 10 days. Chernobyl's graphite. Chernobyl is sent in a million people. Chernobyl, you have orphanages full of children. Um, hang on a second. But that's three times the size. Just think of that alone. And then you think about the rhetoric you see in the media. That's unit two. Uh, it's a 100% meltdown, melt through, melt out. It's three times the size of Chernobyl. This is unit three coming up in the unit three. It's three times the size, well it was, three times the size of Chernobyl. This is, I know, you know, it's pretty damaged, okay? Okay, it's destroyed. Okay, it's missing. Okay, there's there's nothing there. But we'll call it a 100% meltdown, melt through, melt out. We'll call it uh, three times the size of Chernobyl. But this reactor in particular, Unit 3, was mixed oxide fuel, what you know as MOX, M-O-X fuel, and this was categorized at the accident by all the media as two million times worse than any other, more deadly than any other reactor on the planet. Two million times. Just let me say that a few times for you. Two million times worse than any other reactor on the planet. So it's worse, uh, divide 440 into two million because that's how many reactors are out there, and it's that much worse than all the reactors on the planet combined. Um, so that would be, say, 1,500. 1,500 times worse than all the reactors on the planet. That's what that... Now, that's unit, unit uh, 3. Unit 4. And so we're going to really go down that road again tonight. And we're going to cover connecting dots. Um, he's admitted now that he's friends with the UVic professor, Jay Cohen. There's nobody else he could be referring to. And I think that's quite startling. And so once again, Chernobyl, in, in, uh, there's many articles about this, but this one is The Guardian, 2006, in the third sentence. And for the next 10 days, spewed equivalent of 400 Hiroshima bombs worth of radioactivity. Not bananas, not potato chips, not walking in sunshine, not getting on an airplane, but radioactivity across 150,000 square miles. And I say bananas or potato chips because that is how the media has deceived you, because that's got potassium-40 in it. And so somehow or another, like a potassium-40 is not going to mutate a fruit fly, but anything from Chernobyl and certainly anything from Fukushima and anything from Fukushima, you got to think about these reactors. At, they, they all had the spent fuel pools inside of them, and the spent fuel pools were where they take the reactors' cores and they put them in the spent fuel pools in the top of the building to cool down for five years, they say. But it's usually 20 odd years, and then it goes to another cooling pool. And it's probably 50 years before they actually get it into what they call a dry cast, but a dry cast can't contain it. And so they're worried about this stuff. Uh, they're worried a terrorist is going to get their hands on it. T t terrorists, 
And the terrorists get a couple of grams on it, and they can make a small city uninhabitable for thousands of years. Now, how come? Well, because if he, what do you call a dirty bomb, what do you call a dirty bomb, if he was to detonate it with conventional explosives, that would atomize it, that would burn it. And burning it releases all these particles, and that's what we call atomizing, but they're actually much small, smaller than that, because these reactors uh, were burning at incredible temperatures and still are into a chain reaction, unlike Chernobyl that stopped. And so these reactors... They're, they're, instead of like stopping at 10 days like Chernobyl, it kept going. But Chernobyl, because it stopped in 10 days, it was still equal to 400 Hiroshima bombs. Now, how, how does that work, Dana? How can you get 400 bombs out of a nuclear reactor? You know, how does that work? Because that's the chain reaction. Right? The chain reaction is self-sustaining. It doesn't need anything else on the oxygen and material consume it, consume rocks, cement, steel, rebar, humans, it'll consume anything. It's the bowels of hell. It's 5,000 to 9,000 degree Fahrenheit temperatures. There is no getting close to it. The buildings, because of the exponentially amount of releases from atomizing all the materials around and ionizing radiating it, those uh, buildings were coated, completely coated in radioactive material. And so you take a piece of that material, that's a dirty bomb. So it's very deadly, very dangerous, it's very scary stuff, very frightening stuff. Yes? Indeed. Okay. And so you would use, if you're going to try to clean this up, you don't use people. You would use big pieces of equipment and it would chunk it and tear it off. And, and we've seen examples of that that was done. We're going to cover the daisies here in a minute. <coughs> um... Alfred E. Newman picks us mad comic books, put out this one about the daisies. I thought it was very appropriate that somebody finally said something tangible or showed a picture of something tangible where they showed the reactors. And this is a big name. And uh, that was a big hit as far as I'm concerned. Daisies at Fukushima. Now, just to touch back up on... Here's the daisies coming up. But the Unit 4... Um, that was the emails. You find links below my videos of those. I wasn't going to cover them tonight. Okay, uh, once again, let me get the pictures I want. All spent fuel. Tepco, that's Tepco saying all the spent fuel was removed from Reactor 4. That's the picture. That's their official picture. And that's their bragging. They're bragging. Ah, we got it all out. We got it all out. That's what they're saying, right? We'll cover that later. And I'm still looking for my pictures. Hang on. I got too much on my computers. Give me a second. I should have had that one up and waiting for me. I'll find it. If it's the last thing I do. Well, that's unit four. That's a pretty devastating building, right? That's pretty devastation, right down to the ground. And I lost track of what I'm supposed to be talking about here. Hang on. Okay, we're still on track. Okay, here we go. All spent fuel pool was removed. Now look at this building. Look at it. Look at it. You can't get in there. Right? You can't get in there. You can't get in there because you can't get into Chernobyl, for instance. You can't get in there because this stuff is very deadly. That's why we have terrorist laws and that's why we have uh, nuclear waste holding sites. We don't have a repository. No one cares about that part of it. Forget about it. We don't need a repository. We just stack it up all over the country. And that's what they do. They stack it up all over the country. And this was fallout for just a short period, 51 to 70. It doesn't include the real numbers, right? But this is used nuclear fuel and storage all over the country. They don't know what to do with it. I'm afraid the terrorists might get it. So they got each one of these little dots is billions of dollars of security every year. Each one of these dots are hemorrhaging into your community. 
at a phenomenal rate. All the containers have to be vented. There's no such thing as a cast to put it in a sarcophagus to contain it. It's actually vented. All your reactors are hemorrhaging into your community at all times. And so we'll cover the daisies coming up here right now. And I just want to remind you, you know, the reactors were 100% meltdowns, unlike Chernobyl. Now, we'll go into the daisies, and the, the drinking water in Canada now is 7 million becquels a cubic meter. So There's 1,000 liters in a cubic meter. That's how they used to register it. And so you would expect plants to start mutating because there's CETA NOAA model above me. That's the folly from a single release from a single reactor. So let's go over and cover the daisies. Let's cover the daisies. And i got to go back and open that up again, Dana. Reactors, mutated daisies. Here we go. So, Gizmodo, Diane Kelly. She says, stop freaking out. Fukushima isn't mutating the daisies. Make sure I'm streaming that desktop presenter. Okay. Fukushima isn't mutating the daisies, but Fukushima has actually mutated butterflies. They mutated plants. They mutated animals. Um, throughout Japan. Now, stop freaking out. I mean, they're telling you how to think. They're telling you how to act. They're telling you how to reply to anybody that mentions it or talks about Fukushima. So this story was all about a cover-up. That's what this was all about. And I'm going to break that down for you uh, over the next 20 minutes or so. But also, we'll have a few good laughs, I guess. I'm still worn out. You don't know anything about me, then... I'm Dana Durnford, the nuclearproctologist.org, and uh, we're researching damage to the coastline of Canada at the nuclearproctologist.org. You can check out uh, the pictures we're posting up at that site. We just posted 7,500 up there recently in the last week and a half, nine, ten days. I took a day and a half off. Um, and so what these pictures are showing you, the rocks are covering kelp instead of mollusks, instead of mussels. But also the whole site will show you, and if you want to scroll way down, I've got a couple of hundred headlines there. Let's see, around three or four hundred headlines under each of the, the sections. And all you got to do is click on anything there and it'll open up for you. And we're heading back out on the fifth expedition and to cover the coastline of Canada, 26,000 all in Archipelago. So let's go back to the daisies, and I might come back and cover that, but you can read all those headlines down below. You can see the pictures of the coastline, the damage, the carnage, of the 5,600 highly visible species. We've seen less than 100 species on the coastline, but radiation is not mutating the daisies. And so, stop freaking out. And stop telling me how to think. Stop telling me how to act. Stop telling me how to live. Stop telling me not to go look at stuff. Stop telling me that there's no issue. Stop telling me that, you know, 30 million tons of nuclear waste in Fukushima alone. You know, we're talking about the whole country is pooing and, and crapping out radioactive waste all the time. They don't know what to do with it. We're talking about firewood, 43,000 43, becquels a kilogram radioactive ashes. We're talking about, um, don't mention Diney, you know, Diney had a huge, huge releases there. There's 14 reactors that went into heart attack mode in Japan. It wasn't just Fukushima. The bottom of Diony uh, reactor may be broken through. Rumors of explosions are not rumors, they were true. Fukushima Diony still received lots of radioactive fallout from Fukushima Daiichi. They're 10 kilometers away from each other. Smoke seen rising from Fukushima Daini after the quake, but before the tsunami, right? And the reactors, will, the fuel pools will, not the reactors, but the fuel pools themselves will go into a meltdown, um, or the reactors in 90 minutes, once you st stop the cooling. So all the reactors that had lost their cooling melted down. And they hid all that from us. That's my official stance on this. Fukushima Daini also had major damage from 311, submerged under four, feet, uh, four meters of water. Uh, hang on a second. That's not the headlines we're looking for. That's not the ones we're looking for. 
40 kilometers away, let's roll down here. I want to show you something. Okanagan uh, nuclear plant was flooded by the tsunami. You see what I mean? Uh, government dumps radioactive waste into Tokyo Bay because Tokyo was radiated. But no, no, the, the, the daisies, the, 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 the daisies, hang on. The daisies, no. See, this, the, the word of the day is fasciation. And, but what about the radiation? So what they say was they found 0 0.05 munisievers per hour. Now, all the stories had that same stuff there. But they didn't talk about those numbers I just showed you. They didn't talk about the radioactive waste. They didn't put that into context. And so what the story was all about, it was about a cover-up. And look at that mumble-jumble they put there. Let me put it in really simple terms for you. They were dumping huge amounts, and still are, into all the lakes, all the estuaries, all the rivers, into the ocean, all along the coastline. They're burning it in the incinerators. And so the cover story was, shot up, and anybody talks about it, mentioned daisies. Anybody talks about the three melter reactors. Report, Japan considered moving capital away from Tokyo. Why? Because they had massive numbers there. An intelligent agency pressured researchers, think about that one, to withhold info on the spread of Fukushima radiation. Uh, 12 million yen to censor Twitter. Where the hell did that go? Yeah. 12 million yen to censor Twitter being spent by the city starting to burn disaster debris, the radioactive debris. See, it wasn't just one release from Fukushima. It's still going on. Chernobyl stopped after 10 days. Fukushima melter reactors didn't stop. Didn't stop. Forgot to come home and say hi to everybody tonight. Hang on a second. Did I miss that headline of time? Agency funding projects to monitor online info about Fukushima. Crisis. 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 Around the clock monitoring of blogs and nuclear power. And Twitter accounts. 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 Targeting people. How come? They got nothing to hide. How come if radiation is like a banana or a potato chip? Well, that's the big deal. The, 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 the planet will take care of those people because they say, oh, shut up, it's like a banana or a potato chip. It doesn't work that way. Because at the same time, they're telling you they got to be worried. The terrorists might get in there and get some of it. Meanwhile, they're jacking homeless on the streets. And there's no, they're not Danny. Yes, they are. Even Forbes. Forbes. You know, with Conker, I got so James Conker is over there. Even Forbes says it's outrageous. Homeless people are being sold. Not just working there, they're being sold to companies and put to work, put to debt on Fukushima radiation. Government funded shelters supplying gangsters with workers. UN official astounded homeless are taken to work in Fukushima ready to die. At the end of the month they're left with no pay. And they end up in debt, the employers, the Yakuza's, the mob, after food and housing fees are jacked. The mentally disabled are working at the Fukushima Dachi. But Dana's a friggin' lawyer. Dana's a lawyer and sack of shit, right? No, it's okay. Worry about, worry about the daisies. The daisies. Fukushima has humanity on the brink of a possible worldwide nuclear holocaust. 2013, the world as we know it has changed. We are documenting that at the nuclear proctologist.org. Let me go back to the daisies. I like the daisy. The daisy is the day. I went looking for a daisy, but there was none in the garden. We had rain, uh, heavy rain this morning, finally. Only for an hour ago. I barely fucking move anymore. Excuse the language. So here's any trick you over the course of the year is 12 unisievers a day. No, if you ingest a radioactive particle, then you're going to get an autoimmune cancer in 5, 10, 15 years. That's how it works. This is not like, right, that's how, this is what you're, you're not worried about background radiation and the background radiation level. By the way, unisievers is a medical, you look for medical isotopes. You're not looking for real isotopes. You need a Geiger counter, calibrated, 
to the isotope. You need 2,000 Geiger counters calibrated to 2,000 isotopes. Why can't I find that? Hang on a second. Let me try this again. What do I got here? More than 8,000 kilometers in Japan. 30,000 kilometers in Japan blanketed by radioactive cesium and strontium. See, when you talk about cesium, there's 100 times more strontium. When you talk about cesium, you're alluding to every other radioactive element out there. Radiation covers 30,000 square kilometers. It's not me. I'm not making this up. 30,000. I wish it was. That'd be cool. For a little while. So everybody got me. So you fucker. Excuse the language. 20,000 square kilometers would be evacuated if Japan followed. But they're burning it all over the country. Up to 300,000 becquels a kilogram. And they're only looking for cesium and iodine. iodine. They don't look for iodine 132 very often. I'm going to show you. Or 133. There's 10 times more 132. Wherever you see iodine 131, there's 30 times more iodine 133. And... You know, there's 31 times more iodine, 129, with a 15 million year half-life, 150 million year lifespan. That was ionizing radiators. But cesium is the one they've been using for decades, and that's all they're going to let out there, see? Um, it's true, about 70% of Japan's territory is polluted. So you would expect to find the daisies anywhere, right? You would expect to find... That's Jim Conkra, James Conkra. He, right, he, he was talking about the homeless, how despicable it was they were using the homeless, and he's despicable himself. Where's the daisies to? Hang on, I'll go back and find the daisies. Look like we lost the daisies. They burned out of here. Hang on. There you go. Stop freaking out. That's a gizmodo telling the tech geeks to go out and attack anybody and tell them they're fucking idiots. It's fasciation. Fascination, fascication, fascication, fascination, fascination, lace of wool lace of anything but radiation. It sounds a lot like radiation, but it's just fascination. Blue, weird looking daisies. Daisies, highly unlikely to be mutated by radiation. Highly unlikely. Highly unlikely to be mutated. 70% of the territory is polluted. But see, they're going to stick to that one little story. They're going to stick to that one little story about point, point zero 0.05 unisievers, right? Uh, who knows what? Verdi, weird looking daisily, the daisilies, I've done it again. Highly unlikely to be mutated by radiation. No, they're likely to be mutated by radiation. Let's get through it. Top picture of the daisy on the right is me. It looks like it is a vagina, right? This is... Desk is motor, right? They put that comment there to themselves. Fluffy bunny feet. Oh, it looks like a vagina. Some people said, you know, this is the connotations that people are left with. She's a research assistant professor in the biological department at the University of Massachusetts. Massachusetts. And the future... The fuck is wrong with you? Ha 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 ha. But do you see where I'm coming from? Olympic organizer wants to feed the athletes... For the Olympics coming up, Fukushima product. You shouldn't panic, Huffington Post. You shouldn't panic about the Fukushima mutant daisy. Just keep calm and read the article. Okay, keep calm and read the article. One more time, keep calm and read that article. Um, let me see. Hang on. Hang on. I can only read so far. If there's supposed to be a comment here that says, read, read the article. Calm down, read the article. Like, I'm not going to worry about it. You shouldn't panic about the Fukushima. Why, Katie? Why? Sola? You shouldn't panic. You shouldn't panic because there's three melted reactors. And that they're out there telling people that inside of this building, 
Inside of that building is this is that. That's what the roof looks like on the inside. Yeah? Yeah. Give your head a shake, and when it falls off, give it a fucking kick. Gotta watch it. Gotta watch it. There's a fuel pull. <laughs> There's the Fukushima 50. So look at the dome there. Look at all the rods are all taken out. That's not sitting where it's supposed to be. That got thrown over there. Now, so this was the PR paper release. That's all this is. They had to tear all of this off and destroy it. <coughs> and then turn it into that. There you go. That's what it looks like now. Here's what it looked like originally. Right, you see that over there? You see you see all the bolts that are meant to hold the the the, the, the torus down? Right, look at it. They're all broken off and let go and they're not there's nothing there to join onto. Do you think that belongs there? And do you think that it looks like that now? Because that's what they're showing you. That's the official pictures. That's what all the debate and the conversation is all about. Yeah? And it's inside of there. Inside of that building is this thing here. Right? I'll fucking throw this at somebody today. I'm so pissed off with this. And that everybody has told you that the fuel pool looks like that is a fucking lawyer. Right? Everybody that told you the fuel pool looks like that is a sack of shit. Anybody told you that they were going to go in and they're, that here they are. Hang on. Right here's TIPCO. All spent fuel removed from the reactor for pull at Fukushima. And we can't have a conversation with anybody because everybody thinks that that building you're looking at deer somehow magically is that same fucking thing there. Does that make any sense to anybody? And it's inside of that building there. Is it just me? Am I missing something here? Hang on. I still got to get the dots yet anyway. So let me keep going. A photo of a deformed daisies reportedly found, reportedly, right? You fucking bitch. Has gone viral, but don't panic. They almost definitely aren't radioactive mutants. They almost definitely, they are, right? Fucking, do you get where they're coming from? Do you get what that's all about? So, yeah, let's not worry about 400 tons of radioactive water entering the Pacific Ocean every day for four years with no end in sight and three melted, 100% melted reactors. Let's talk about fucking daisies. Yeah? And so what was the response? Not really. Not really. Suggest you stop with the hyper hype. Hyper hype hype. Bringing it down a notch. Fug and look at this. Fukushima wasn't even close to Chernobyl. Right? So that's all you can expect. Fukushima, one third size of any of the reactors at Japan. Right? You, you like This reactor here, Unit 1 at Japan, is three times the size of Fukushima. It's 100% meltdown. Uh, 100 at Fukushima, is 100%. Meltdown, Chernobyl, one-third the size, 30% meltdown. Of course, it's completely different. It's many, 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 many times. But Chernobyl didn't have fuel pools on the roof that are missing. Yeah? That burnt and caught fire. Hang on. Let's keep going on the daisies. Oh, the daisies. Otherwise, someone's going to flake my video and say, he didn't talk about daisies. Now, what have I got done? All spent fuel removed from reactor 4 pull, right, at Fukushima number 1. At 4 pull at Fukushima. See, number 1 is the Diachi. Reactor 4 pull at Fukushima number 1. So it gets really confusing. So look at the picture they're showing, yeah? 
Let's go up find the daisies again. Here they are, daisies. Daisies, daisies. I clicked too much and then the daisies ran away. Newton daisies. Let's find somebody else. UMass Amherst. Uh, environmental toxicologist hopes hormesis hypothesis may be acknowledged by U.S. regulatory action. So they want to say that if you, ingesting stuff from Japan will, will protect you from ingesting stuff from Japan. And you need to get over there to the NRA and comment on there before September. We'll have to do a whole video on it. Deformed mutant daisies, boing boing, right? Zena Jordan. She's uh, doing chemotherapy all the time, right? She got no hair left on her fucking head because the chemotherapy, only 3% of the people survive. And so she'll survive, so she's a candidate to propagate out the uh, leukemia. Uh, cure is somehow putting man-made radio radioactive isotopes. So let me, let me just go down that road for one second. Chemotherapy... In order to get chemotherapy, you have to sign a waiver saying they can experiment on you or your loved ones or your children. That's what you're doing. And the state has already made that decision when it comes for children. And these experimental concoctions that are always changing, they're called chemotherapy. But it's always changing. But it's always called a one word, chemotherapy. Because you're using radioactive isotopes from chain reactions and they kill all the cells in your body. And what they're trying to do is kill all the cancer cells in your body. But that's why your hair falls out because you kill all the other cells too. And if a single cancer cell survives, then the cancer um, uh, reoccurs, right? If they survive the chemotherapy, there's only about 3% of people live longer than they would have without the chemotherapy. And chemotherapy is a horrible way to die. And you would treat cancers by treating it instead of buying the pharmaceutical petroleum products, you would treat it with the organic stuff that has the nutrients and the minerals in it, right? No, apparently not. That's what, they, that's what they're doing to everybody. They're murdering everybody. That's what chemotherapy is, is you allow them to kill you. They'll kill you. And they do. That's what they do. It's a real bad industry. There's nothing good about... Uh... So here's Boing Boing. Here's Boing Boing. They're going to say the same thing too, right? So what they do is they they, uh, they refer everybody over to uh, Snoops. But anyway, so 100, 100 kilometers from Fukushima, right? And I can't pronounce the name of that. I'm not even going to try. So... So you see what's left of that building? Right? You see that? What's left of that building? And so what's left of that building? I'll just do a quick one for you. What's left of that building? What's left of that building? Hang on. I just had an idea. I'm just popping up right quick here anyway. Something to do. So what's left of that building somehow is perfect on the inside. See, I don't get that. I don't get how you got a perfect building inside a destroyed building. That's unit four. <coughs> There's nothing left. You can't have that inside of that building. But that is the story we've been told over and over and over and over and over. And we're not allowed to talk about it. We're not allowed to have a conversation about it. We're not allowed to, to um, the media won't report on it and say, you know, that kind of looks a bit, can you explain to us how you've done it? And they don't do stuff like that. They don't show you how they rebuilt it all or how they reclaimed anything. And they don't interview the people that work there. Because like I showed you, it was the homeless and disabled and mentally retarded and rejected that are living on the streets and shelters and everything else, right? Yeah, yeah. 
And UN official astounded homeless are taken to work in Fukushima ready to die. At the end of the month, they're left with nothing. Disabled are working at Fukushima. Homeless treated like disposable people. Homeless treated like homeless people are being sold to companies and put to work on Fukushima radiation. Men picked up in the slums of Tokyo to go to work at nuclear plants. Many become ill with radiation sickness, too frightened to speak out because the mob is picking them up and dropping them off. If they're lucky, they survive a little while. Uh, mainly had handicapped working at Fukushima plant after meltdown, often given worse radiation suits than regular, you know, outraged animal carcasses litter the region around the Fukushima plant. It's shameful. And it is. It's disgusting. It's the most despicable. The radioactivity will be released directly into the atmosphere. OAEA. And they're talking about Unit 4. Probably got a little blurp blurp. I'll say hi to everybody while I got a little blurp blurp. Uh, hi, Missing Sky, Solar, Elaine, Shanikan, Intercept Media, Candace, Missing Sky, um, Veritas, Three Fox. I don't know. Let me scroll up and say hi. I'll come back to that headline. Let me see, let me see, let me see. John. And basic data. And checks and balances, France. <coughs> and Kate, hi Kate. Kate's got the Fukushima hounds, you find a link below. And Sylvia, Patrick, Adam, I'm your author. Uh, let me keep going for a second. Ellie, uh, I'm pretty well done, everybody. Just chatting in the chat room. A beautiful girl by Dana during the live stream. And it's just so much work. <laughs> but that's the best part of it. I get to say hi to everybody. And so that's why we do that stuff. And a hi, no, a hi is not much, but it's a hi. It's enough for me anyway. So radioactivity is being released directly into the air, IAEA. Japanese, in March the 15th, 2011. The Japanese authority informed the IAEA that there had been an explosion at Unit 2 reactor at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. And the Japanese authority also today informed the OAEA that the spent fuel storage pond at Unit 4 reactor at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant is on fire. And radioactivity is being released directly into the atmosphere. Yeah? Yeah. See? It was on fire. Now I know that's hard to believe looking at that. I, I have a hard time saying, I can't believe there was a fire in that building. Look at it. If I had the money, I'd buy that in a heartbeat. i put my kids in there. They wouldn't last six seconds. Their organs would melt and you'd never get their bodies back. <sighs> I keep going. Daisies. But Unit 4. Let's wind up another one. The other two fuel rods fully exposed once again. See, when you expose the rods, they heat up, catch fire, and the minute they catch fire, they lose everything. Everything's gone. Then his left turns into a chain reaction all on its own, burns down through the building, burns through the reactor. The reactor is going to contain around 1600 degree Fahrenheit. The second that it goes over that, it's bye bye fucking reactor. Severe spike in radiation around number two. It was up to a million sievers. A million, five sievers will kill you. It'll kill you in like a week. Ten sievers will kill you right on the spot. Forty sievers will melt your organs. A hundred sievers will kill you before you can turn around. And what will a million do? So much mud in reactor number one is preventing water getting into the core. Oh, from the tsunami. The place was wrecked, destroyed. Well, no, but the reactor survived, Dana. Nuclear expert, I died 131. 
Number four pool suggests spent fuel pool has started its own chain reaction. Suggest today? Suggest! See, I mean, these are... That's the problem with grammar. You're not allowed to use assertive words. Like can't and ant, won't, don't. Authority, suddenly, sudden increase in temperature, number three pressure vessel. Uh, enormous amount of plutonium at number four spent fuel pool in danger of catching fire. In danger of catching fire. April the 13th. The lie was well underway. Right? There's number four. There is no spent fuel pool. And one to show you. It can't be a spent fuel pool. How the hell can that be? How can that be? I'm going to get rid of all that. I won't continue on with the daisies. <laughs> daisies. So the daisies is meant to drive everybody away, right? See the point? Zero five unisievers, an hour above ground. Huh? Hang on. Um, that's why they were monitoring everything online because it was point zero five above ground. Had workers, had worked vigilante to shut down close close scrutiny of the ravaged plant's condition. Tip, go ahead, work like savages, right? Twitter, they were monitoring everything, spending millions and millions and millions. Smoke seen rising from another nuclear power plant 10 kilometers away, Fukushima Daini. Right, that's so important. It wasn't just the reactor. TEPCO president apologizes for accident at Fukushima uh, Daini nuclear plant, not just Diachi. Apologizes for accident at the Doiny plant. See, this is how big the cover up. But don't, don't worry about it. Worry about the daisies. Tokyo Vice Governor suggests it's Fukushima draft because it's like potato chips and walking in the sunshine. I'm terrified to go to the fucking supermarket or the grocery store or corner shops anymore. Sale of foreign Geiger counters banned. So why wouldn't you want to hang these people? If you're allowed to hang them down there, no shame in that. It's okay. How else are you going to do it? Tokyo 2020, beware. Radioactive Tokyo. Yellow substances, radioactive, in neighborhood near Tokyo. Well, Tokyo is a hell of a lot further away than the places where the daisies were took. Huh? Does all this mean that radiation leaks from Fukushima caused the deformity? No. How can you say no? See, how can anybody ever trust you again? Why would anybody ever want to go back to your site again? Business Insider. These deformed daisies from Fukushima are blowing up the internet. Blowing up the internet. Bro, what? What? Because that's the cover story. Don't talk about... Melt at one, two, and three, and how radiated the Pacific Ocean is. Don't talk about the work and the research that Dana and the Hounds of Fukushima are doing at the nuclearproctologist.org. Don't talk about the significance of the herring missing, that sardines are missing from the Pacific Ocean. Don't talk about how the salmon fishery failed right across the board, how the birds are missing, how the snails and the mollusks and the periwinkles and the clams and the oysters and the scallops and all the shellfish are missing. We've covered this coastline verbatim. And we're still going to go up and do it one more time. A small batch of deformed daisies is more important. Because that's the cover story. So everybody's going to talk about it. Everybody's going to tell you about the 0 0.5. Where's the toe? If it's not here, it'll be there. Hang on. Okay, make a lawyer to me. Oh, they referred you over to Snoops. So when you get over there, you'll find it. Oh, there you go. The daisies aren't the first thing in Japan. That's right. These guys actually did mention something at the bottom of it. Mutant rabbits and twisted vegetables that have all had their moments in the social media spotlight. But these deformed daisies from Fukushima are blowing up the internet. So here's the ones everybody's referring to. Snoops. Mutant Days is all how I learned to stop worrying and love fasciation. 
how I learned to stop worrying and love the bomb, right? These little word games through grammar are terrible stuff. Does a photograph show a group of daisies that mutated due to radiation from the Fukushima nuclear power plant? Three melted reactors. Don't bother to put that there. The meltdown, melt throughs, melt outs. The chain reaction still ongoing. Don't put none of that there. Fukushima daisy showcasing similar mutations have been found in locations far away from nuclear radiation. Right? That's the story, see? Dutch area in northern uh, Idaho, that picture is taken from. Mutated daisies near the Fukushima plant may simply be the result of fasciation, not nuclear radiation. More often than not, a flower which is afflicted by fasciation can be identified by a variety of common problems or mutations, if you will. Right, if you will. Flower stems can appear much flatter, wider. Hang on, wait for it. Well, radiation from the Fukushima disaster certainly has an impact on the plant life in the surrounding areas. The above display photograph doesn't necessarily show the mutation of daisies due to nuclear radiation. It was much more likely that this image simply displays an example of fasciation. Last updated, 22nd of July, originally published 22nd of July. I would love to get that one. So the journal even done it. Hang on a second. But no, we can find radiation throughout Tokyo. Don't mention 30,000 beckles a square meter in um, 30,000 beckles a square meter, 8,000 square kilometers. Don't matter, mention that part into the equation. Don't mention 20,000 square kilometers throughout the country. Don't mention the updating. All of Japan is contaminated. The government's covering up enormous exposures to the public. And the epidemic is just beginning. Forget about the daisies. The vagina Davy, daisies. Japan must be the only place in the world with several million beckles of radioactive isotopes in urban areas. Incomparable. Highly radioactive blue algaes and school roots. Japan must be the only place. Why Fukushima is worse than Chernobyl? Now the truth is coming out 72,000 times worse than Hiroshima. But of only a million times cancer deaths. Right? 72,000 here. Uh, Hiroshima. Hiroshima was uh, in studies now from 3,500 peer-reviewed translated studies in a book published at the New York Academic Science Journal showed that there was over a million deaths. So 72,000 times a million. But see, Max Fuel from the number three reactor at Fukushima. State not liable for nuclear damage. Right? Go fuck yourselves. Japan radiation expert, my results of contamination is spread all over the country. All over the country. And that was when? That was 2012. Because the wind is real. Radioactive substances from Fukushima belongs to the landowners. They can package it up and sell it to terrorists. They can blow it up and, and fuck up your city. As November test shows massive contamination fire excited the evacuation zone. Radiation covered 30,000 square kilometers in Japan. Blanket it. Blanket it. Japan's science ministry. Japan's science ministry. There's science. Let me keep going. But no, no, I'm worried about the daisies. Have you grew a tail? No, shut up then. Top nuclear official. Japan in desperate, seemingly endless battle with radiation. Seemingly in infinite damage to the daily life of residents. That's Unit 3. That's MOX fuel. That's two million times worse than any other reactor on the planet. That smoke is extremely radioactive. You fill a bag up of that, or you just get a particle of it, and it'll kill you uh, 5, 10, 15 years. It's mixed oxide fuel. It's already went through a chain reaction set in a missile nuclear warhead unstable for 40 years and then was reclaimed the plutonium and uranium. It was around 7% plutonium, around 23,000 kilograms or so of plutonium. Look, if you took a pound of this and you fill up a theater, you can kill everybody there in 20 minutes. I don't know, let's say half an hour 
I know other people don't want to fucking work their brain too much. So you can drag all the bodies out in a half an hour, 300 people, and fill up the theater with just a pound of the 5 million pounds that was in that and that caught fire. And just because it caught fire and atomized an aerosol and was floating around, well, you can put 2 million atoms on the head of a needle. You can't see them. But a single atom will give, give that's enough if you can distribute it out to give 2 million cancers. Cancer takes 5, 10, 15 years to show up. But this, because there's so much, there was such a massive, continuous, ongoing, never-ending, perpetual murdering motion machine, this has become a breeder reactor for the black dust too. Areas with 10,000 becquels a meter, a square meter, like that's where you, you know, just a square where you stood up. A radioactivity, not a cubic meter where, where you breathe, highly contaminated by the study. See, Japan should let the elderly hurry up and die. They don't care about their people. Hang on, let's go. We are focusing on issuing the unit four is kept in a stable condition and fixing the three other units at Fukushima Doini. At Fukushima Doini. So the issuing unit four is kept in stable condition. Hang on a second. So they're going to try to keep that one in a stable condition. Not worry about it. Not worry about it. But we're going to get over there and fix the ones at Fukushima Daini. Because apparently, apparently, that's not as bad as Daini. See? Huh? Yeah? Yeah. Hey, Zoe, you okay, buddy? Go for it, broke buddy. Poor Zoe. She's been to hell and back to Our current focus... This is sure that Unit 4 is kept in a stable condition. So we can per provide permanent fixes to the three other units. We will work hard. We will send the homeless in there one by one, two by two, three by three, four by four, five by five, six by six, seven by seven, eight by eight. You and official astounded and homeless are taking the work in Fukushima ready to die. Mentally disabled are working at Fukushima. Fukushima has humanity on the brink. The world! TEPCO promises additional effort. We're going to kidnap them off the street if that's what it takes. We don't care. We'll bring in the mentally handicapped. We'll do it. We're, we don't care. We are, we are, we'll steal them from the theaters. You know what I'm saying, though? Homeless people are being sold. They're not lying. They're not making that up. They're not fabricating it. They're, they're not over-exaggerating it. They're just being frank. And Frank, it's freaking scary. NRC, 100 hours, 100 hours after quake, we hear radi radiation levels are up, even in Tokyo, because the winds are real. The winds, think about the winds will take the, the, the forest fires in Asia and the auto pollution right across the ocean, right over to Canada and American join, and that becomes your index for pollution. It'll linger all over your country for months. We keep going. You know, there's three melter reactors, and that's why they're talking about the daisies. That's why everybody's focusing on the daisies. I'll come back to that prick in a second. Were deformed daisies found near Fukushima caused by radiation? <coughs> oh, in the tweet, the atmospheric dose is point five unisievers at one meter above the ground, referring to radiation in the area where the daisies were growing. Right? Don't bother tell them everything I'm showing you. How come I keep doing that? Hang on. Hang on, mister. I'll get it. I'll find it. Hang on one second. I know, Dana. One second's a long time on the internet. You better hurry up, Dana. You better hurry up, Dana. We're all going to run away, Dana. We're all going to run away, Dana. You better find something. You better find something. Ah! 180 kilometers away. Mystery, reddish, radioactive substance. Substance. Fallen from hey, Fukushima. I'm going to start yelling in a minute. 180 kilometers away. Do I hear 200, 200 kilometers? Do I hear 200 kilometers? 20 kilometers from Tokyo. 4 million becquels a square meter. But oh no, the daisies. 0.05 unisievers. 
Say, you want to see, tell us how many Beckwells. 27,000 Beckwells of cesium is 100 times more strontium. It doesn't try, but the reactors run on uranium, plutonium, not cesium. It's a byproduct of the broken rods from the detonations, from the meltdowns of the chain reactions. But this is disgusting. 27,000 Beckwells a kilogram of cesium in kindergarten near the west coast of Japan. 200 plus kilometers from the meltdown. 200 plus. Do I hear 210? 210, 270. I'll take a 270. Here samples in Tokyo. Oh, it's 270 times more contaminated with cesium 137 and global we weapon weapons. Weapons follow peak. The global peak. And they're going tit for tat with nuclear testing. Forecast show Tokyo under radiation threat on Sunday, March the 20th. No, no, the kids are okay. Don't tell them to stay home when it's coming through. So government simulation showed radioactive plume, a plume of krypton over Tokyo. Da, 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 Tokyo, Jenny and the Jets. Do, 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 do. Reactor number three with Mox exploded on March 14. Benny and the Jets. Do, do. 300,000 plus backwards a meter square radioactive iodine. 131, right? Only includes 131, not 132. There's 10 times more, not 133. 30 times more, not 129. With a 15 million year half life, 31 fucking times more. No. Oh, but the iodine 131 disappears in eight days, Dana, so it's all gone now. Dana? You fucking fear monger. You big bully, Dana. Picking on connecting dots. You're going to give him a heart attack. He's going to have to go hide in his bunker. High radiation levels there in Tokyo. Linked to Fukushima. Jesus, you don't suppose it was people eating shit and bananas and potato chips. Pigging out, being pigs. Huh? That's probably what it was. It was, if you look up, like how many potato chips were sold in that period, you probably find it was a like a million times more potato chips were sold. Everybody was eating 60 pounds of potato chips every day and bananas, 100 pounds of bananas each a day. And that's why there was 29,250,000 beckles a square meter in the soil near Tokyo. I bet you the daisies are looking pretty rosy around there, right? The cigarettes haven't got 7,000 chemicals in it because I'm not evil or stupid. Every cigarette got 7,000 chemicals. They keep going. I gotta hurry up and get through this. We're running out of time. Oh, we ran out of time. 9.59. Shit. Shit. I guess we'll have to save uh, connecting the dots for tomorrow night. We'll have to do a special show tomorrow night. Look at the other J. Tokyo drinking water unsafe. How come? Got bananas in a Dana. There was an accident on the highways. A couple of hundred bananas rolled down, went into the river. And so there's too much potassium 40. And you can't let the babies drink it, Dana. Dana. You should know shit, Dana, like that. There's like there's always car accidents and truck accidents, rather, where there's a little bit of extra vegetables falls in the rivers, and that's why people can't drink that water. High radiation levels near Tokyo. 29,000 Beckwell, 29 million Beckwells. It's like run away before your hair fucking falls out in the dead. Is it, it's true that about 70% of Japan's territory is polluted, but it's all actually polluted. Tokyo is contaminated with highly toxic radiation. They're going to move the capital somewhere else. 276,000 Beckwells in another sample. 18 million Beckwells a square meter. No, 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 Dana, but it's fasciation. Dana, it's the daisies. Why why do you hate daisies, Dana? What do you got against the fucking daisies? What did the daisies ever do to you? Dana, you friggin' daisy bully. Uh, Fukushima daisy goes viral as nuclear radiation is blamed for deformities. Haven't you been listening to what I just said, Huffington and Post? Did Fukushima... Disaster radiation mutate these little tiny cute looking bunny rabbit like daisies in habitat, 
right? All the bloggers are coming out, right? All the big technique blogs and everything else, all the trendy little fuckers, they're coming out and saying, photos of... But these days, you depict it in a photo. I mean, there's some comments here where say the pictures were taken before over at Boing Boing. The pictures were taken uh, pre-2011. And Fukushima's not as bad as Chernobyl. Let me kill that before I get in trouble. Burn down the city. I'm evil. I got a cigarette without the 7,000 chemicals. This makes me a smock. How come you didn't take the 7,000 chemicals, Dana? Fukushima race passes radiation tests for the first time. That's another one of their stories they wrote. Instead of saying, I don't trust them, why would I trust them? And still, you got three melter reactors hemorrhaging into the fucking air all the time, into the ocean endlessly. Plant biologists at Cornell University. However, a higher rate of mortality, uh, mor mortality above, um, among birds and animals since disaster in area near to Fukushima lead many to believe this radioactivity is having a greater effect on living things via National Geographic. The independent mutant daisies found near Fukushima nuclear disaster may have nothing to do with radiation. See, it's these fucking headlines. Most people don't even read the story anyway. Oh, I got nothing to do with those fucking daisies. They don't even mutate a daisy down there, Dana. That's fasciation, you fucking idiot. You moron, Dana. What the fuck is wrong with you, Dana, scaring people? I didn't make up these headlines. I didn't do it. That's not me. Cesium levels spiked with unusually high amounts of fallout. And go cook top my Tokyo up to 300,000 beckles every fucking where you looked. Excuse the language. Home to the world's largest drinking water reservoir of its kind. Built to supply uh, 46 million slaves in Tokyo. No, 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 Dana. You're full of shit, Dana. You're a lying sack of shit, Dana. Tokyo's a lot further than where they found those da daisies. Let's go a little further for a run out of time. <laughs> 40,000 microsievers per hour at the Tokyo supermarket. This is murder, what they're doing there. Neutron beams observed 13 times. All right, hang on. Fukushima uh, wind patterns sent vapors to Tokyo in under a few hours. People in Tokyo in a black sub no, Like, think about this. You have fucking rain a thousand miles away and they track it all the way to your place and tell you how much it's going to fall, when it's going to fall, how long it's going to be there. But no, no, not radiation. That's not going to come along with it. That can't move along with the wind. Dana, wind don't go move in radiation, you fucking moron. Atoms. Dude, we're talking about atoms. So if I put two million atoms on the head of a needle, do you think they're small enough for the wind to be... And I can't see them. Do you think they're, they're, they're too big for the wind to move them? Have you ever seen a raindrop? Have you ever seen fucking dust or smoke or pollution when it lands on something? Well, that's uh, millions of atoms. We're talking about a single atom. Local official, people in Tokyo, the black substance is here. This is like crazy stuff. Radioactive dust reported in Tokyo, 4,000 becquels. That's nothing. Contamination never disappears. No, because it washes down from the mountains all the time, right? 50,000 becquels a kilogram. These are all like all different numbers from all over the place, but none of them are... Even the word, it's the smallest number here, is frightening. Contamination in Tokyo suburbs, three times higher than the area one mile from Fukushima Daiichi. 827,000 becquels. Yeah, suck it up. You like it, you slaves. Government simulation showed radioactive plume, Krypton 85, we've done that one. So cesium from Fukushima, which is just a byproduct of the chain reaction, is not the uranium or plutonium. So if, the, so if one went there, how the hell could the other ones not go there? Huh? How? Okay, let's give it up. Anyway, the daisies. Hang on a second. Let me give one more little tiny little dig in here. Daisies, daisies. 
Let me go right here. Stop freaking out. Fukushima isn't mutating the daisies. Okay. So watch how many times that headline got passed around. Showed up on YouTube at the bottom there. It showed up at these sites. Right? Same headline. So everybody stuck at this headline. Stop freaking out. Fukushima isn't mutating the daisies. Right? See what I mean? See all these headlines? All these different uh, sites that are carrying that same story? Just regurgitating it up? Blah! Stop freaking out. Blah! Fukushima is a mutating the daisies, Dana. Huh? You fucking fear monger, Dana. Those buildings are fucking fine, Dana. You big bag of shit, Dana. Trying to scare people. But anyway, let's cut it down. Let's knock it all down. Fuel pull fires. Uh, Fukushima, let me cover in on that one. Fire broke out at Reactor 4. We can't do anything. No, because hundreds of miles of coastline got washed away by the tsunami. The reactors, once they lost their power, including 5 and 6, once they lost their power, there was no way to get in there. The tsunami was there for longer than that. They had no power. After 90 minutes, they melt down. The reactors need a million gallons a minute to cool down. A minute. A minute. You can't shut them down. You gotta, you gotta put them in the standby, which is like revving your fucking engine mode. And then you gotta slowly bring them down. It takes a long time to go into a cold shutdown, what they call a cold shutdown, where you can take the rods out. But you can't take them out. They gotta put them right back in the fuel pool, a pool of water where they boil off 120,000 liters a day into your community, your radioactive substances, because the rods are volatile and snapped and have all these micro cracks in it and all the atoms can get out, the isotopes can get out. Let me say, come over and say goodnight everybody. Why haven't they decontaminated Tokyo? Mrs. Missing Sky. Basic data. LA. Logo. Aqua. Checks and balances. Rasfist. We'll have to cover the rest of it tomorrow night, I guess. I'm burnt out, too burnt out to keep going. Um, let me see. The trolls are everywhere. Hi, Cotton Top Mindy! And Mindy and Elaine and Ellie and everybody. I'm freaking burnt out. I'm burnt out because just one person. And there's so much work that I got to get done and I have done and it will continue to do. And I just can't stop because we can't stop. We can't stop because the entire coastline has been eradicated. We can't stop because there's only a handful of LGs left on this coastline. The birds are missing. The sea life is missing. The mollusks are missing. The snails are missing. The insects are missing. And it's not, you know, the snow is missing from the mountaintops on top of that. The tritium won't allow the ice to crystallize. And there's massive tritium released in now into our drinking water standards. Up to 7 million becquerels in a cubic meter is standard now. All of a sudden we're telling us or explaining why. Uh, and, and the rocks, all he got left on the rocks is... is, is um, Algaes and these rocks should be covered in mollusks and mussels. There should be no algaes there whatsoever, see? Not, not like that. The algaes should be taking up spots where the mussels don't take up because the mussels create this glue, right, that binds to the rocks and then they all bind to each other into that and they grow out of that and they dominate that section. But the, the algaes will grow amongst them, but it won't dominate the rocks, right? The, the mussels throughout the billions of years have dominated it. And these green sea anemones that you see there, that's all we see on the coastline. We do see a scattered white and brown, and we do see, but not very often. Uh, it's extremely rare. There should be 78 species of these sea anemones, and they come in different colors. Same as the starfish, you won't see any starfish. The ones you do see are melting. 
and like right at the low tide, the very low tide. That's what we do, the very lowest tide. That's the only hope we got of, of, of getting a picture of anything. There is nothing above the high tide, a low tide line whatsoever. And at the high tide line, there is no faunas and floras and sea anemones. There is no habitat there for the migratory animals or for the krill or for the phytoplankton uh, or for, you know, like when I say phytoplankton, I'm talking about, you know, it's not just plant, right? It's, it's animal larvae, it's insect larvae rather, and they call them marine life animals, but it's the, the, the marine larvae, like there's 50 species of rockfish and all their larvae, like a codfish could produce um, 700,000 eggs, for instance, right? And the ocean becomes a super life through all the starfish and all this, um, and all the, the the invertebrates having eggs. There's 6,500 species of invertebrates with the backbones. They all have eggs that are known to the British Columbia coastline. The archipelagos, 26,000 um, island archipelagos that we have been scouring. I mean, but I mean, this this is these are good-looking pictures compared to most of the coast. Most coast completely. Well, it is mist. There's nothing there. There's only five or six algaes out of 600 algaes here. This is directly because of Fukushima. The water on the coastline of British Columbia, Canada, and Alaska is heated up by the warm waters from Japan. And so it's a direct route over to our country. Hugs for everybody. Good night, everybody. Yeah, the gift that keeps giving. Michael Han. Rattle Shark. Uh, Worski, basic data, slacker, cotton, good night everybody, Adam, Shaniken, Ellie, and Candace, missing Sky, good night everybody. Well, we'll have to another stream tomorrow, I think I will come out and just pound the guts out of, uh, out of uh, connecting dots. He's admitted now that he's working with uh, Uvic. We got them. We got them rattled big time. We raised an extra hundred, almost thirteen hundred dollars now, in order to get a lawyer and a private investigator and find out who this guy is. Yeah, he needs to be dealt with. So, he's he's a PR firm with you, Vic, with Jay Cullen. Hugs for everybody. We'll do it again tomorrow night. We'll have a bit of fun. I'll feel a lot better by then. I'm sure. Take care.